we're here today to celebrate the EcoCar Spring Workshop here at EPA. We've been here for about a week and we've got another week ahead of us, but we've been doing dyno emissions testing. I think we've never had a competition with this kind of challenge, this kind of lineup. If you look at the 16 teams and the tremendous breadth of technologies integrated in these vehicles, it, it certainly was unlike anything we've done before, uh, but they had really risen to the challenge. Well, the big benefit we get is to be part of these students' education and, and trying to help shape the next generation of automotive engineers, inspiring them to really think kind of beyond the normal engineering constraints and design beyond government tests or government standards to, to meet customer demands and, and to uh, bring about these other societal benefits, you know, we just think is golden and we're just thrilled to be a part of it. Well, Safety Tech is a process that all EcoCar vehicles go through where we do a comprehensive 300 plus point inspection, which uh, passing allows a vehicle to take part in all the dynamic events at the proving ground. Um, so Safety Tech's a big deal. Um, it can cause a little bit of stress. Um, you, generally, everyone's got something to work on when they get here. Uh, but the Safety Tech Inspection Team is a team of subject matter experts and uh, we work hard with the students. So the Spring Workshop has been going really great. We passed our Safety Tech without many issues at all, which was wonderful. So we were the first people on the dyno and we've done a lot of dyno testing, which has been great. So we've been getting a lot of data that we don't have at school so we can go back and optimize. Uh, we're here at the EPA testing our engine to get our emissions set up for competition. We're measuring our NOx emissions coming from the engine and calibrating our emission after treatment system in order to reduce this as low as possible. What we've learned about our vehicle so far is that we can actually go over 60 miles as a pure electric vehicle. Uh, we've been able to do some tests back home, but here at EPA, we ran nine UDDS or city drive cycles before our vehicle ran out of electricity. One of the things we're doing with our vehicle now is we're changing control parameters. So we're looking at how we want to drive our vehicle to make sure we have good fuel economy and still really low emissions. We hope to be able to have a 100 mile per gallon gasoline equivalent plus vehicle by competition. We tested how much, uh, every 10 mile increment, how much uh, power was required and to actually drive the vehicle down the road. Just drive it um, in an everyday scenario, not going up and down the hills, but just to drive it on flat surface. And uh, that's actually very valuable data that's very hard to get um, and it's very easy to get when you have facilities like this. We require the students to do a city and a highway cycle in sim the exact cycles that we actually ask the automakers to do before they introduce the vehicles into commerce. We pick two of the five cycles that we usually do test and we do this testing with the EPA to make sure that before a automaker introduces it into commerce that they've actually past all of our emission standards. So it's very important that the students get to see that and they get to see the bin levels that are required. And I think it is kind of shocking when you have your first your first run, you think everything's great and you get to see it and you go, oh, we still have some work to do. So they're tough standards, absolutely, but it's necessary to make sure that we have an America that's clean and one that we can be proud of when we introduce those different cars into commerce. I'm here to support EcoCar. We offer to all the teams uh, components to make battery packs. So the battery modules, some of the electronics, and then the students were responsible for actually building the enclosure, doing the controls work for how the battery would interact with the vehicle. Everyone's really excited about the media coming today. It's one of the biggest days of the weekend so far. We actually get to take the media around in our vehicle um, to demonstrate how it's running and, and actually give the media a feel for how we've progressed and, and the kind of car that we've put together. We're here to cover uh, the Eco Car Challenge um, to see all these students' uh, vehicles that they've um, come up with, and it's just amazing to see uh, what uh, young talent has now. These students spend so much time and put so much energy and blood, sweat, and tears into these vehicles. The vehicles that you are seeing have hundreds and thousands of hours put in by the students, and the dedication that they show in making sure to have a safe operating vehicle is wonderful. Oh, I can't wait to get in these vehicles. That's the best part of being involved in this competition, is actually getting the culmination of all their hard work and when they're able to drive and you see that spark of excitement and enlightenment in their eyes, there's nothing better. When you have industry, you know, people that come in and hop in your car uh, with the media, we're not just doing book work at, in college anymore, you know, we're we're building real vehicles. I love these students. We've hired a bunch of them and we bring them in and we put them into our hardest problem areas that we can because I find that I'm able to take these kids and just drop them in anywhere and they're able to perform 
and move the problems ahead and get things done and, and just make results happen where you know somebody else without this experience simply isn't able to do that. This competition has been a lot of work. It's uh, kept us all up uh, day and night on most things. When things have to get done, they have to get done on time. And it, it can be some late nights, but it's really rewarding. It's, it's a lot of work, but it's, it's all worth it in the end. Penn State would just like to thank the EPA for letting us come to their facility. Um, the data we gathered here is invaluable. Their equipment's top notch. It's such a collaboration between government and industry and academia and really just represents the, the hope and the, the future of the automotive industry.